Hello, everybody. A very warm welcome to um, the, the most complicated and chaotic start to a service that we've had in a little while. There's plenty of stuff going on today. I am very excited to have our nativity um, folks all getting ready at the back. A really warm welcome um, to anybody who this is their first nativity. It was also on this morning. It's going to be absolutely fab. And thank you for taking part and for joining in. We're going to have communion a little bit later on today too. You should hopefully have maybe some little cardboard bubble things. I've got a couple at the start. We're going to dress the tree with those later on. Um, what else is happening in this service? Uh, Catherine's got a cool thing with some phones at the end. So that it's all going on here at our 4.30 service. The theme today is Deck the Halls with Bows of Joy. And it feels like a very joyful service already as we, uh, as we see all that's going on and all the, all the craziness of today. Now, one of the many things that I did forget to prepare someone for was lighting the Advent candles. Does anybody fancy coming forward to light our Advent candles today? Have we got a volunteer? Yeah? Would you like to come forward? Well done, Jenny. So, could you start off with this one round the back? Do you want to come around here? And you can just click that button. Oops. Like that. Okay. And if you just hold that right up. Whoops. Might have to pick you up, Jenny. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? Yeah. Oh, bad luck. No. So we click it again and hold it down really well. Well done. Oh, lighting these candles is harder than you might think. Can you do this next one? Well done. And the pink one as well. You might have to click it again. Pop you down. Can you manage? There we go. You hold it down. Got it? And the pink one. Fab. Well done. Thank you so much. So as we light our Advent candles together, we thank you for the love you give. As we prepare for Christmas time, light of the world, shine on us. As we come to worship you, shed love in our hearts to all those who don't know you. Light of the world, shine through us. And in this world of pain and darkness, help us to share your love. In our service here today, light of the world, lead the way. So it, I think we're going to have our opening song um, which is going to be a version of This Little Light of Mine. Um, during This Little Light of Mine, he's going to give us some instructions about things we have to shout. Sometimes we have to shout something. He'll explain what that is, a person or a place or something like that. The words of it aren't on the screen, but I hope you know it. It's a pretty simple song. This Little Light of Mine, I'm going to let it shine. It's very repetitive. So hopefully you all know it. Let's stand and sing our first song. We're gonna sing this little light of mine together. You ready? Three, four. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, shine, shine. Let it shine. Step on this together. about where 
are you going to be the next time you shine the light of Jesus? Are you going to be in the classroom or at home or at work or on the bus or at the supermarket? So when we leave the gap, I want you to shout out the place where you're going to shine the light of Jesus. Okay, ready? So I'm going to sing When I'm in my, and then it's your bit. When I'm in my, I'm going to let it shine. When I'm in my, I'm going to let it shine. When I'm in my, I'm going to let it shine. going to do when you shine the love of Jesus? Is it going to be being kind to someone or offering to pray for them or telling them about Jesus' love or sharing something? So I'm going to leave a big gap and uh, when I do that I want you to shine and to say the thing that you're going to do to shine the love of Jesus. I'm going to say I'm going to. Ready? I'm going to. I'm going to let it shine. Please do have a seat. I'm just going to make this a bit less precarious. One of our candles had slightly fallen over. So um, as we begin our service today, we're just going to take a little time to confess our sins to God, anything that's gone wrong in our week amidst all the sounds and excitement and noise that surrounds Christmas. Um, we recall that Jesus Christ was born in a moment of quiet, in a stable in a calm, faraway place where there wasn't very much excitement or noise. And so we have those small, silent places in our hearts. And so we're just going to take a moment of quiet to call to mind anything that we wish to bring to God today, anything that we've been unkind to other people, any time that we haven't put God first in our life. Let's take a moment of quiet. And Lord God, we praise you for sending light into this world. We confess that sometimes we live as though the light had never defeated darkness. We confess that we ignore the Savior that you sent among us to be with us and to live with us. We've kept the birth of your Son confined to the Christmas season and do not yearn for his coming each moment in our waiting hearts. We say together, forgive us for not opening our eyes to Jesus. Prepare us for his return and help us to rejoice in the light so that your grace can illuminate the darkened places of our hearts. Amen. So almighty God who has given us in Christ Jesus a kingdom that can never be destroyed, open our eyes to God's truth, strengthen us to do his will and give us the joy of his kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we're going to hear our two, um, our two readings. I think Joey's going to come and bring us our first reading from Isaiah. So down you come, Joey. Um, and then afterwards, I think, is it, is it Harry? Did you volunteer yourself, Harry? Do you want to come down as well, Harry Kay? Harry Kay, Harry Kay. Do you want to come down as well? Because you're going to be doing our reading from Matthew in just a moment. Um, and a very big thank you to Joey for doing this fantastic reading. Thank you very much. If you just come over here, Joey. Good lad, thank you. 
The desert and dry land will become happy. The desert will be glad and will produce flowers. Like a flower, it flower it will it will have many blooms. It will show its happiness as if it is shouting with joy. It will be beautiful like the forest of Lebanon. It will be as it was as it will be as beautiful as the hills of Carmel and the plain of Sharon. All people will see the glory of the Lord. They will see the splendor of our God. Make the weak hands strong. Make the weak knees strong. Say to people who are afraid and confused, Be strong, don't be afraid. Look, your God will come and he will punish your enemies. He will make them pay for the wrongs they did. He will come and save you. Then the blind people will see again, then the deaf, deaf, will, deaf will hear. Crippled people will jump like deer, and those who can't talk now will shout with joy. Springs of water will flow through in the desert. Streams will flow in, dry, in the dry land. The burning desert will have pools of water. The dry ground will have springs. Where the wild dogs once lived, grass and water plants will grow. A road will be there. This highway will be called the road to bring being holy. Evil people will not be allowed to walk on that road. Only good people will walk, walk on that ro- road. No fools will go on it. No lions will be there. No dangerous animals will be on that road. They will not be found there. That road will be for the people God saves. The people the Lord has freed will return there. They will enter Jerusalem with joy. Their happiness will last forever. Their gladness and joy will fill them completely. Sorrow and sadness will go far away. Thank you so much, Joy, and really well done. That's a really long and hard reading for a young lad to do, so really well done. Thank you so much. Do do go and have a seat. And Harry's going to bring us our gospel reading. Thank you. John the Baptist was in pr- John the Baptist was in prison, but the, he heard about the things the Christ that the Christ was doing. So John sent some of his followers to Jesus. They asked Jesus, "Are you the man who John said was coming, or sh- should wait, or should we wait for another another one?" Jesus answered. Go back to John and tell him about the things you hear and see. The blind can see, the crippled can walk, people with harmful skin, diseases are healed. The deaf can hear, the dead are raised to life. And the good news is told to the poor. The prison who the person who does not lose faith because of me is blessed. Thank you so much, Harry. Thank you so much. Well done. (laughs) Really well done. So I don't know if you noticed, but in those two readings, one of them was from the Old Testament, a long time before Jesus, and then the other one was from the time of Jesus, and it was a fulfillment of the things that the Old Testament prophet had written about, that the deaf would hear and that the blind would see, and wow, what that must have felt like I think that must have been such an amazing thing to watch and see. So we're going to stand now and sing our next song, which is Shine, Jesus, Shine. Please stand. Truth, you. 
have a seat and over to our nativity crowd. Thank you so much. A woman called Mary was chosen by God to give birth to his son. She was afraid. Mary was with child. And she travelled to Bethlehem with her husband, Joseph. It was a long, hard journey. And when they arrived, there was nowhere for them to stay. searching for somewhere to stay, a kind innkeeper let them stay in his stable. There, with all the animals looking on, a baby was born, and his name was Jesus. There were poor shepherds. And
I don't know. What is a shepherd's favourite car? A Lamborghini. <laughs> what do you call a sheep with no legs? I don't know. What do you call a sheep with no legs? A cloud. <laughs> what do you say to a sad sheep? I don't know. What do you say to a sad sheep? An angel came down and told them to go to Bethlehem to see the saviour of the world, Jesus Christ. The shepherds were puzzled, but they set off to Bethlehem following a bright star. Follow me! The shepherds arrived at the stable and saw the baby Jesus. Straight away, they just knew that this tiny child was a son of God. And they bowed down before him. Far, far away in a distant land, wise men had seen a strange star in the sky. They knew that this star was special. But they did not know why. They just knew that they had to follow it. They took with them gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. When they saw Jesus, the, f the wise men just knew that Jesus was a king, the son of God. They laid their gifts before him, gold, frankincense and myrrh. In Bethlehem, God gave to us the source of Christmas joy, a star shown on a miracle the virgin birth of a boy. He was born both God and man, a saviour for us all, the way to get to our heavenly home if we just heed his call. So as we shop and spend and drop and enjoy the Christmas season, let's keep in mind this sacred truth. Jesus is the reason.
boys and girls, go grab a seat. So a huge thank you to all our fabulous stars of our Nativity and of course to Jonathan and Barbara and to all Lauren who played a part in organising that Nativity. Should we give them another round of applause? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so we come to the next section of our service. Um, you may have some of these little bubbles. I'm not sure if everybody does, but hopefully I gave out quite a few of them um, during the service. These are going to be for your prayers. Um, I'll explain what, uh, how to use those in just a moment. We're going to have some, uh, some more formal prayers, and also we're going to use those little bubbles as little prayers to pop onto our Christmas tree. So, on one bit of the bubble, if you could think about a person that you want to pray for, you should hopefully have a pen in your pew and to write the name of the person. Or if that's too much, maybe just write one letter of their name and God will know who you want to pray for. So to write the name of a person on one side and then on the other side to write the name of a place or a country or something like that that you might want to pray for. You might want to pray for school. You might want to pray for the UK. There's different things that you may wish to pray for on your prayer bubble. So... Feel free to start filling that out if you would like to now. And for those who aren't busy filling out bubbles, um, our responses for our prayers today is, I will say, Lord Jesus, one day you will return. And if you could respond, make us ready, Lord. Lord Jesus, one day you will return. Make us ready, Lord. Shall we pray? So Lord Jesus, you said in our gospel reading, go back to John and tell him about the things that you hear and see. Help us to share the message of your love with other people this Christmas. Give us courage to tell people all that you have done for us and that you are reigning as Lord over all. We pray for every single person who comes in through our church doors this Christmas time that they might have love over them. Lord Jesus, one day you will return. Make us ready, Lord. Jesus, you said, the blind can see, the crippled can walk, people with harmful skin diseases are healed, the deaf can hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is told to the poor. And so we pray for those who we know who are unwell or suffering today, for your healing in their lives. We pray for those we know who are mourning a loved one this Christmas. And we pray that the good news of the Lord Jesus might transfigure all suffering this season. Lord Jesus, one day you will return. Make us ready, Lord. Jesus, you said, the person who does not lose faith because of me is blessed. And so, Jesus, help us to keep our eyes upon you this time of year and not to be distracted by all that's going on around us. Give us strength when we're feeling less joyful and surround us with people to encourage us. And we pray that you would strengthen our faith. Lord Jesus, one day you will return. Make us ready, Lord. And Jesus, you said, let the little children come to me. And don't stop them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people who are like these children. And so we pray for all parents and their children in what can be a stressful time of year for some. That they will find time to express their love for each other and to find the kingdom of heaven in their midst. We pray for families where there is pain and sadness in their relationships. That those relationships might be healed and restored. Help us to remember that we are all your children, God, and are loved by you, no matter our circumstances. Lord Jesus, one day you will return. Make us ready, Lord. And so, God, we offer you these our prayers today in the joyful thanksgiving that you hear all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken. Give us that joy in our hearts as we leave this place as well, Lord. To tell the good news abroad through Garstan. 
In Jesus' name we offer these prayers. Amen. Amen. Fabulous. So we're gonna um, we're gonna sing our next song now. If you've made your little bubbles and during the song you would like to come forward and hang them on the tree as like a special prayer. You might have managed to write a name of somebody on the front and you might have managed to write a country or a place or a town or a school on the back. Feel free, children or adults, to come forward and just to hang these on the tree. If you just come up around here and we'll find a spot on the tree as we stand and sing our next song, which is Walk in the Light. Shall we stand? kids lined up for our interactive uh, communion prayer but um, I haven't got that far today and so I'd like you all to do the answer to the question when it comes to that stage as well as the bits in black. Um, of course at this time of year with our lovely nativity um, we've been thinking about the birth of Jesus 
And um, of course, the reason why Jesus came to us, we remember here at Holy Communion, as we recall his, his death on the cross and his rising again to new life. All people are welcome to come forward to receive Holy Communion if you wish. Um, and we have a service of confirmation here at St Thomas's on the 30th of April. Um, and that's for anybody who's been baptised, perhaps as a baby. And the idea of confirmation is that we can place our own trust as people who understand the story of the nativity that we've heard today. That we can place our trust in that little baby boy. So if you'd like to speak to me further about confirmation, um, I'd love to hear from you. You have to be in year six or above to be confirmed in this diocese. And of course, adults can be confirmed as well. And we have got a couple of adults and um, hopefully getting confirmed in April. So the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Why is it right to give thanks and praise? Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us happy times and things to celebrate. And in these we taste your kingdom, a feast for all your children. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with the angels and sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. Why do we share this bread and wine? Listen, and we will hear. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this to remember me. After they had eaten, Jesus took the cup of wine gave thanks and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And so, Father, with this bread and with this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us to be more and more like Jesus, our Saviour. How do we follow Jesus Christ? Help us, Father, to love one another. As we look forward to that day when suffering has ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now with St. Thomas and all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. And so draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving.
Oh, we pray. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you for your birth among us on this planet 2,020-something years ago. Lord Jesus, we thank you that because of that, we don't need to guess what you're like, but we can be sure and confident in who you are. We thank you that we have received you today through the scriptures, through Holy Communion, and through prayer, and through worship. We pray that you would be born afresh in our hearts this Christmas time. And as we leave this place, may we, may we be sent out, built up in the confidence and faith that your love conquers all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to stand and sing again now our last song, which is My Lighthouse. Please do stand.
So if you remember at the beginning, if you had a smartphone with you, I asked you to have it and we would do something with it. Now is the time to get it ready. And I think this is the first time in church we've ever said, ladies and gentlemen, would you please turn your phones on? <laughs> so there's a thing. So you need your phone on and the phone torch ready. Are you ready? And you should have a word. So you've got to turn your torch on when you hear your word. So if we're ready, I think my assistants are going to turn out the light for us. Oh, there we go. And I've got my phone torch just in case I wasn't able to see the print, but I think I'm good. Are we ready? There was a lady called Mary, and she had a special job. Her job was to have a very special baby. That baby was Jesus, the Word made flesh, God on earth, Emmanuel, God with us. That baby was the light of the world. He came to shine God's light into everyone's lives. He came to bring that light to you and me. If we want to, if we say yes, we can have that light in us through the Holy Spirit. So you can shine that light. So I can shine that light. So we can all shine that light. The light of Christ. God's light into the world and we can take it with us like we take our phones wherever we go but unlike our phones the battery can never go flat you can't break it or lose it you will never need a new model or an upgrade this is the light of christ the Word made flesh, God on earth, Emmanuel, God with us. And now we take Jesus, the light of the world, out with us into our world this Christmas to shine his light into dark places, seeing people who are hurting or sad like Jesus would, bringing light and joy to people who are lonely or unheard, and being the light of Christ there for them, making places brighter, more joy-filled because of his love, his light. And people will look at our lights and they will see that we have Emmanuel, God with us, God in our hearts. Maybe they will look at our light, our joy, and they will see Jesus shining in and through us. And they may want that light. They may want to say yes to the light that never fades never breaks, never gets lost, or needs an upgrade. So as we head out into the world that Christ came into, we shine his light into the darkness, and that darkness can never overcome it. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to go out with our lights. And as we go out, I'd like you to take the flyer, like the one on the screen with you, and I'd like you to take a few of them, so that one way to shine your light is to invite people to our Christmas services, so they can come and meet Jesus. So you take them with you, and we're going to take our lights, maybe round to the hall, Maybe home and shine the light of Christ 
out into the world this Christmas. Off we go. Can you tip my light? Are you alright? Can I help you out? Because we're not going to be, can you manage? Well, you've not got your torch, have you? 